fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. The last rider of the plains fought for more than law and order in the early days of the western United States. It was possible for a man to take advantage of his fellow ranchers and stay within the law. But he always ran the danger of making an enemy of the Lone Ranger. And no man could match the courage and resourcefulness of that great champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. An adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on! The Indians are on the war path. We've got to hurry. I'll silver away. At one moment, six heavily laden wagons were crawling slowly across the prairie in the direction of the isolated town of Western Flats. And in the next, they were the center of a howling band of savages that had suddenly dashed out from behind the huge boulders at the side of the trail. Shoot them, pay the devils down. Fight them, boys. Get him down. Jim Hartley, cut him down. Cut him down. Shoot him, my lord. Shoot him. Four hundred. Early the following morning, Bat Freeman, whose ranch was just outside Western Flats, summoned his foreman to the ranch house and was giving him his orders for the day when they were interrupted by a sound at the door. Jake, what was that? Gosh, bad, I don't know. Sounded like somebody stumbling. Come on. Hmm, wonder who it is. Maybe it's... Oh, engines. Ambushing. Well, I'll be... Shot to pieces. Get him inside. Here, fella, I'll give you a hand. Killed. All of them killed. Put them on that bench there. They're just about out. Handle them easy. Here, put him here. Ah. The freighters. Engine. Ambush. What in thunder is he talking about? All of them killed. By golly. Huh? Boss, I've seen this fellow before. He works for that freighter outfit to ship supplies into Western Flats. You sure? Uh huh. It's him, all right. Yeah, forget his handle, but that's where I've seen him. Engines got everything. Engines got everything. Say, you know what, boss? There was freighters do with more supplies. I'll bet whatever you care to name, Injun was laying in wait and clean that freighting party out. Get some water. Yeah. Here, you. Listen here. Come on, snap out of it. What happened to you, huh? Speak up, can't you? Injun killed everybody. Last you come out of it. Come on, Jake. Hurry up with that water. Here you are. Throw it in his face. Well, don't you think we'd better... I said throw it in his face. Sure, sure. I was only thinking of shot up the way he is. The blazes he... with the way he shot up. He's trying to say what I think he is. I got an idea. He's got to be aroused so he can talk sense first. Well, this may be a little bit. <coughs> All right, you. You ain't hurt so bad you can't talk. What? How did... You all right, fella. What happened? Uh, the engines. Engines ambush you? Engines. Yeah. Yeah, I recollect now. 
It's coming back to me. If I could have water. Talk up and you get all the water you want. You with the freighting party taking supplies to town? Yeah. The engines get them supplies? Got everything. Everything. Killed everybody but me. I, I've been all night getting here. Crawling. Hiding. Yeah, you're just about out again. And throw some more water at him. Yeah. <laughs> Give me water. In just a second. You sure nobody else got away? Engines got everybody. Anybody else know about this? Talk to anybody that could spread the news before you got here? No. Seen nobody. There he goes. Passed out cold. <laughs> yeah, what's funny? You know what this means, Jake? Well, it'll be some time before there's more supplies brought to town. A month, anyhow. With the Redskins acting up, maybe longer. What are you thinking of? Jake, right now it's likely we're the only ones to know there won't be supplies reaching town this trip. Yeah, but I don't savvy you what... You will. Happen. You and me are riding into town. Yeah? I'm going to every doggone store. I'm buying up all the supplies each one's got. I'll let each one think that's the only place I'm buying from. And we're acting fast so we can put it across before they get a notion what's up. What in blazes is up? Just this. They'll sell what they got on hand because they're figuring on more to reach them any day now. By the time they find out, it'll be at least a month before there'll be any more supplies. I'll own all that's to be had. Huh? What good lad do you? Gosh, we can't use all that stuff here on the ranch. You must You're be crazy. You still don't savvy? Can't say as I do. Why, you dumb galoot. Them folks in town got to live, don't they? They can't live without grub and such. I'll pay whatever price for it they ask. But when they come to me to buy it back, <laughs> they'll pay me just twice as much. Maybe more. By golly. Slick, eh? <laughs> well, boss, with a scheme like that, there's one thing sure. Yeah, what's that? When the folks in town find out what you've done, you're going to be either one or two things. Huh? Either you'll be the richest fellow around these parts, or the deadest. <laughs> Bat was not discouraged by his foreman's doubts, but rode to town at once to put his plan into effect. Later that day, the Lone Ranger, disguised, also entered town. He made his way at once to the general store owned by Ezra Hastings and... Uh... I tell you, young fellow, if you want supplies, you'll have to get them from Hank Davis or Miss Jones. I'm clean sold out. But I've been there. To both places? That's what I've been trying to tell you. They're sold out, too. Sure, they can't be. They... Oh, afternoon, stranger. Good afternoon. If you're here for grub, I'll have to tell you the same as I told this young fellow. I ain't got none. That's unusual, isn't it? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. But it just happened today that Bat Freeman... Bat Freeman? Yeah, he bought... But doggone it all. That's the same fellow they told me bought out them other stores. What's he doing? Getting ready to feel the whole county? Huh? You're saying Bat was at them other places? He was? Now, what am I going to do? I'm with a wagon train that's north of here, and we're just about out of grub. The engines have been raising trouble, and it took us twice as long to get where we are as we figured, huh? I was going to buy a couple wagon loads of supplies and have them sent out. But, gosh, I can't figure this out. Bat must have gone loco. What kind of a fellow is this, Bat Freeman? Well, I suppose he's all right. In other words, he isn't. Now, I didn't say that. If you had liked him, you'd have said so without hesitating. Yes, but and I... I see you haven't heard the news. Huh? What news? I believe these people will tell you. And look at the crowd. Come in here. Now, what in thunder... Ezra, we've been tricked. What? Ezra, I bet you've sold out to Bat Freeman, too. Why, he's, he's got all the supplies he is in town. We've got to go to him for what we want. The blasted varmint's been up to another one of his slaves. Wait, hold on. Maybe Bat has gone loco. But what difference does it make? There'll be more supplies coming soon. Fact is, I was looking for him today. So you can just quit looking for him right now. But I... Ezra, the Redskins jumped them freighters, killed everybody with them, made off with the horses and grub. No. That's just what happened, and somehow Bat found out about it. Gosh. He told me he was laying in next to supply of grub, figuring that if he bought a lot to once, he'd save a little money. It wasn't saving he was figuring on. It was making. You mark my words. He's got the grub. He knows it'll be weeks before we can get more. And if he don't try to rob us in the meantime, then Beth Freeman ain't the scheming skunk I've always known him to be. <laughs> The Lone Ranger, leaving Western Flats, rejoined Tonto in the small, well-hidden camp they shared. The Lone Ranger knew the situation was dangerous, and he discussed it with the faithful Indian while he removed his disguise. Give me that towel, Tonto. Uh, here, towel. Thanks. You know, Kimo, Fabi, the worst part of this 
is the fact that Bert has stayed inside the law. Uh, he had a right to buy that food. There's a legal right to demand whatever price he wants for it. Now that it's his, a legal right, I say, not a moral one. Uh, what you mean? No matter what the law says, men are never justified in taking unfair advantage of their fellow men. Uh, that right. Uh, have I got all the stain from my face, Tonto? Uh, and get the uh, mask from my saddlebag, please. Uh, Tonto, get him. One thing is sure, Kimosabe, the people in town won't starve without putting up a fight. Ah. If Bat wants too much, there's going to be trouble. If what I learned about him while in town, that's probably what he'll do. Yeah, mask. I believe I'm going to need this. Uh, what you do? I'm returning to town. Oh. If there's trouble, the sheriff will have to take Bat's side. His duty requires him to uphold the law, whether it's fair or not. Uh-huh. If Bat demands too high a price, and the people demand those supplies without meeting Bat's price... Then it could easily mean bloodshed. Mm, that'd be heap bad. If it comes to that point, I have a message for the townspeople. Here, Silver. What message? Call Scout Kimasa. Here, Scout. I have a plan in mind that may solve this situation. I'll need your help, though. Don't you do what you say. Then come on. We'll talk it over on the way. Get him up, Scout. Come on, old fellow. Come on. The masked men overestimated the seriousness of the situation. Half the town, with the sheriff in the lead, rode to Bat's ranch house. There, they dismounted and gathered around the front porch. Bat, an insolent smile on his face, stood on the porch looking down on them. <laughs> I can guess what you folks are doing here, all right. Yeah, Clocker, was something funny. If you think it is, you'll find it ain't. Hold on now, hold on. Seems to me like you folks are getting a little ahead of yourselves. I corralled all the grub there was, Sure. Right now, I got a whole barn bulging with it. But there wasn't no law saying I couldn't buy. Weren't nobody acted like he didn't want to sell. You ain't even asked me how much I'm charging to sell it back again. <laughs> All right, then, how much are you? Well, I got to make a profit. Answer my question. I'll tell you what I'll do. I ain't no proper storekeeper, so I wouldn't be up on prices and such. We'll take what I was charged for a starter. Figuring from that, you can have the stuff back for... Uh, well, we'll say three times what I paid. We can't pay you that much, and you know it. It's just about bust those of us that are well off. What about the folks that ain't well off? What are they going to do? It ain't none of my affair. They'll have to do their worrying for themselves. You can't get away with it. We'll take that stuff away from you first. Try to rob us and see what happens to you. Hey, Sheriff, keep them folks back. Sheriff, I demand protection. I'm within the law, and you're sworn to uphold it. Stand back, folks. That's got the right of it. There ain't nothing you can do. You siding with that polecat? I'm warning you, Sheriff, you better not. Stay back. The blazes with that. Come on, folks, let's help us out. Just what the skunks deserve. Uh, shoot him if he stands our way. Teach him to be wrong. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man. Stand back. Oh, Watch out for his heart. Get back. Get back. Close him. Over. 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 Mr. You'd better. Don't slap another, Sheriff. But I I'm new to these people. Quiet, everyone. Quiet. Listen to me. Within two days, wagons will reach Western Flats. Within two days, you'll have all the food you need. How do you know? Where's it coming from? You'll see when the time comes. Why should we take your word for it? You don't have to. You have enough food in your homes to last several more days. What of it? Wait two or at the most three days. You won't suffer during that time. And if you find I haven't told you the truth, you're still free to take any action you wish. You'd better do like the masked man says, folks. I'm the law, and if you're going to make trouble, i got to stand up again you. But if it can be avoided by waiting, then that's the thing to do. Well, maybe so. Won't hurt, I reckon. Wait. wait a couple of days. Masked fellow's tricking you somehow. He can't bring no grub here. You know it. If you want to eat, you'd better buy from me. I didn't say I'd bring supplies here. But you just I said, said it... only there would be supplies. And at a fair price. Think it over. Hey. Hi, Silver. Wait a second. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger's message and the sheriff's arguments persuaded the crowd to wait for a few days before forcing the issue. They returned to their homes, and when they had gone, Bat shouted to his foreman and a cowhand. Jake, come here. You come here too, Sandy. What do you want, boss? Got orders? You fellas heard what that mask fella said, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And I reckon I overlooked something before. Eh? I said if you tried this stunt, you'd either get rich or drilled. <laughs> it looks like another thing could happen. If the mask fella's right, and there's more grub being brought into town, then you're stuck with what you got on hand. In other words, you're likely to end up flat broke. Yeah? Well, if I do, you're out of a job. Wouldn't surprise me. Only that grub ain't gonna get to town. Got something in mind? Any supplies brought to Western Flats has to come in from the east. Sure. There's two ways it could come from the east. Either by way of the prairie trail, which is the longest, or through the hills. Yeah, what about it? It ain't likely there'd be anybody with gumption enough to take the hill trail. Not with the Redskins on the warpath the way they are. You reckon not. Well, right here and now, Jake, I'm appointing you to ride the prairie trail. Find them wagons with grub and see if they don't never get here. Kind of a tall order, ain't it? You can pick out as many fellas as you want to go with you. You can take Sandy here for one. Uh-huh. And just how do I go about keeping the grub from town? You're a foreman of my place, ain't you? Seems as is. Being foreman, you're supposed to have some savvy. I never had no complaints on that score, I reckon. Well, then figure things out for yourself. Take the men you want. Do what you want. There's just one thing to remember. Yeah? If that grub gets to town, you can pack your war bag and look up yourself another job. Jake, following Bat's orders without enthusiasm, chose a half dozen men and led them east. They had furnished themselves with bandanas to avoid identification. And when a day's journey to the east, they saw four wagons approaching, they put them on... Then with drawn weapons, they rode toward the lead wagon. Rain up there, gents. Oh, I forget drill. Oh, 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 there. Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, What is this, a hold-up? Uh, maybe. Tell them other fellas with you just to stay where they are. Ain't going to get in no trouble unless they ask for it. Let's keep your places, boys. These fellas got the whip hand. I'm glad you see it that way. Now then, what do you got in them wagons? Oh, nothing much. Wouldn't be supplies headed for Western Flats, would it? No. Nope. Mister, I kind of like you. You ain't taking this affair in the wrong way. But just the same, it pains me to say that you're lying. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time folks been wrong about me, I reckon. And seeing as how I don't think you're telling the truth no how, I guess we'll have to do some investigating for ourselves. <laughs> well, suit yourself, friend. Sandy. Yeah? Get off in that cayuse. Climb this here wagon and see what's in them boxes and barrels. Reds, you and the other fellas do the same by the rest. This here sure heap full. Judge, now, you shouldn't be judging so much by appearances. I suppose you have to couple them barrels or boxes either one. I'll do that thing. Find anything? By golly. What's the matter? These are all empty. He warned lying. <laughs> well, maybe the other wagons are different. It'd be a slick trick to have the first one empty, so we think they was all the same. <laughs> Look here, Jay. Hey, now, where'd you get that name? Say, did you really figure we wouldn't be expecting your boss to pull something like this? But where did Shucks, he... you ain't such a bad feller. Just made the mistake of hiring out to a skunk is all. But you see, the townsfolk have got a fellow working on their side that's 20 times slicker than your boss is. <laughs> and, and here he comes right now. The, the masked man. Sandy, get down from there. All right, fellas, back to your horses. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And don't go for a gun. Every man on these wagons is ready for you if you make a move. We ain't done nothing. And we're not holding you. Then but before you leave, I'll give you a message for your boss. Yeah? Tell him this. Tell him the next time he should remember there are two trails to Western Flats from the east. Huh? You mean it? Say, Jake. Huh? We was fooled proper. These empty wagons came by this trail just to keep us busy. I'll bet the ones with grub took the hill trail. But, but we figured with the engines wearing war paint... That would and... have better luck if he stayed away from scheming. You're right, stranger. And I'm going to take pleasure in telling him so. It's going to be worth my job, but it'll be a downright pleasure just the same. Very well. On your way. Come on, fellas. Dad had better get rid of them supplies he's got as fast as he can, or he's going to be bust flat in a pancake. Get up. Get up there. Come on. Get up. All right. Keep on the town with those wagons. Right. Come on, Silver. Yeah. When Jake reported to his employer, Bat was unable to control his temper. He stood at the door of the barn, which contained the supplies he had bought, and pointed it inside. Look at there. Just about every dollar in cash I had tied up in that stuff. 
Because you fools didn't look down the right trail, I'm likely to go bust. <laughs> Shucks, we just look where you told us to. Seems mighty funny to you, don't it? Well, no funnier than it did to you when you figured you was going to get rich because the town folks was going to be hungry. If I thought there was a chance to head them off on the other trail. Then you'll have to head them off yourself. Why, you dumb idiot, that masked fellow was wise to you from the first. He knew doggone well that you'd try to stop the grub from getting here. And now if it don't, then there ain't nobody but you going to get the blame. It could be done in such a way so nothing could be proved. Yeah? Well, try hollering for proof with your Adam's apple getting cramped by a piece of hemp. It don't work so well from what I've heard. But the wagons can't be in town yet. Maybe not. And the folks in town don't know for sure whether them wagons are coming or not. All they had was a masked fella say so. I hope you ain't scheming something new. You'll be losing your ranch along with your cash. All I'm figuring is to sell. <laughs> Which same as what you figured in the first place. Uh, get the boys together. Get them supplies loaded up. I'm taking them back to town and selling for anything I can get. If I wait till that other grub shows up, maybe I won't get nothing. The supplies were loaded according to Bat's instructions and taken back to town. Bat went with them himself, and when he arrived in Western Flats, went directly to the cafe where most of the townspeople had gathered. He paused for a moment at the door, and looking toward the hills, saw a wagon train peeping toward the town. Come along, Jake. I'm coming. <laughs> I wouldn't miss this for anything. <laughs> Hank, Ezra. Hello, Bat. Howdy, Bat. Well, what do you want? Uh, look, fellas, I... I've decided to be fair about this whole thing. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, it's like this. I, I've i been thinking it over, and I've decided maybe it was kind of a shabby trick I was trying to play on you. You can bet it was that, all right. You changed your mind? I have, gents. That's just what I've done. I'll let you have back all them supplies for just what I paid you for them. Uh -huh. Say, you mean that? Of course I do. What in blazes come over you all of a sudden? Get to talking to the sky pilot? No, no. I just figured things out for myself. <laughs> With a little help from a mask fella. Jake, you <laughs> shut up. Look, fellas, let's uh, let's get this settled right away, huh? You can give me your notes for the cash. What about the stuff you bought from Miss Jones? She ain't here. I'll see her too, but let's hurry, huh? Well, I just soon get back in business again. I've had to shut up shop since you bought me out. Me too. Now let me see. You want us to give you just what you gave us, huh? That's right. Uh, How does that sound to you, Ezra? Fair enough, I should say, Hank. Mm-hmm. Well then, don't I don't buy. Him. Why? What the? Don't buy him his terms. He tried to cheat you. The law can't punish him, but he'd be fittingly punished if he were to take a loss. Now, wait. Stranger, we got to have supplies. We can't do business without them. And folks are beginning to run low on stuff already. Then I think a fair price for what Bat has would be half what he paid you. I won't sell for that. Suit yourself. You fellas will give me what I paid, won't you? You ain't going to try and cheat me, are you? You'd just be fitting if you was cheated. But the trouble is, we got to have them supplies even worse than you got to have the cash. Just so. So if you don't meet me halfway... They won't. But I tell Hank you, Mr. Ezra, he's bluffing. If he refuses to sell for a half, tell him you'll wait a half an hour before making up your minds. Well, no, no, I, no uh, we got to get together in this right away. I, I ain't waiting. Say that. What's making you so all fired anxious all of a sudden to deal on the spot? Well, I, I just want to get it over with, that's all. I, I I got work to do back at my ranch. It wouldn't be because the masked fellow was right after all, would it? Huh? Right about what? About other supplies coming to town a day or so. Is that what you're feared of? Are you figuring you'd better sell before them supplies get here or you won't sell at all? No, it ain't so, I tell you. By golly, I'll bet it is so. I never seen the varmints so anxious to deal fair and square before. You have your choice, Bat. Accept the terms I mentioned or none. Well, I... What the masked man says is good enough for me. Bat, which is it? I don't know. I... Hurry. I think I hear some wagons outside. Huh? Wagons? By golly, that's so. Ezra, let's go outside and see no, what's coming. No, no, wait. Coming. I'll sell. Just give me half. That's all I ask. I'll sell for half. No, if that grub's out there, I don't reckon we care to buy from you at any price. Wait, please. I reckon wait. we'll wait. There's no use carrying this too far. Buy at that price. You can't lose. And it'll help save Bat something. And still, he'll be suitably punished. Please, fellas, please. Well, uh... I don't know. You got to, fellas. You just got to. Uh, you think we should, mask man? Take my word for it. I know you should. Then, Bat, as far as I'm concerned, it's a deal. Uh, and you, Ezra? Same goes for me. Here comes the sheriff. He can witness this. The deal will also apply to what was purchased from Mrs. Jones. Now, look here, stranger. Oh, wait, sheriff. These men are making a bargain and want you for a witness. Bat is selling all he bought for half what he paid. I'll ask you questions later, stranger. 
Is this the truth, Bat? Yeah, it's all set. They can't back out now. We don't aim to. There's a redskin. And the young fellow from the wagon train is with him. Tonto. <laughs> We get here all right. Where'd you come from, <laughs> Injun? Me come with wagons outside. Them are wagons from the immigrant train I'm with, Chef. I was here a couple of days ago to get grub if you wreck leg. You came with them wagons that drove up just now? We sure, why? Then if you was here trying to buy grub a couple of days ago, how come you're in a position where you can be bringing grub to town now? <laughs> well, who said I was? What, you I'm just... afraid you misunderstood, Bat. No one told you the wagons would bring supplies. You were told wagons would arrive. And that at the same time, there would be food to be bought at a fair price. Both things are true. But I was... Wagons came by both trails. But both groups of wagons were empty. <laughs> well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> then if we stopped the wagons on the hill trail, we'd have found them empty, too. <laughs> right. And there ain't no other supplies coming here? Not that I know of. Sheriff, it ain't fair. I'm calling that deal off. I ain't selling nothing back for half price. You made a bargain and I witnessed it. You either keep that bargain or set in jail. Yes, yeah, sir. Right. The mass fellas fixed it so we made a profit on the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear of the like? And I brought these wagons from the emigrant train so I could take back grub. <laughs> of course, I don't expect you to fill all them wagons. Just a couple is enough. The rest was the masked man's idea. He schemed the whole thing? Yes, so. Sent the engine to where we're camped and had the redskin get us to help, and that's all there's to it. Now, I sure would like to ask that fellow some questions. Only maybe not the same ones I would ask when I seen that mask of his first. Well, Sheriff, he's on his way, so you ain't gonna ask him nothing. But what'd you have in mind? <laughs> Just one thing. I wanted to ask him if he ain't the Lone Ranger. Come on, Silver Old Boy! There's an adventure on the trail ahead! I am Silver Away! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.